the following dynamic block was requested by a client, but I think you deserve to know this. So a couple of weeks ago I received a request from a client to create a dynamic door block. The first thing that I did was to create a copy of his door and put it to the site as a way to have a backup. Then I proceeded to take a screenshot of his instructions to kind of use it while I create this door. Then I proceeded to kind of go through the requirements. He wanted it to stretch on the three and a half inch side and the six and the 18 inches. Okay, so then I proceeded to remove all the unnecessary objects and selected the objects to place them in the layer zero. Once I did that, it was time to it was time to check whether all of the objects were placed by layer, either on line type, line weight, and so on. This is a good uh, block creation practice. So once I was sure that everything looked correct, I did create the block. And in this case, I named it Lazy Door. I click to specify on a screen for the base point and a good base point for this specific door would be over here on the hinge side. Then I proceeded to open this block on the block editor to start adding some additional parameters and actions to make it a smart block or dynamic block. The first thing that I did based on the client requirements I needed to add a linear parameter. So this linear parameter was supposed to go here on the hinge, like so. Now we needed the same linear parameter for the door opening like so and then I proceeded to change the grip numbers of these two parameters from my property palette I changed it from two grips to only one to avoid confusion in the future and then I also renamed the parameter, the first one to hinge, and then the other linear parameter I renamed it open. Once this was done, then before adding the actions for these specific two linear parameters, I decided to first add a visibility state because this will make my life easier once I start modifying the stretch points for this block. So once I added it, I then started renaming and adding more visibility states as the client requested. The first one I renamed or call it 45 degrees and then for the second one making sure that show all existing objects was checked I decided to I went and call it 90 degrees and then finally I created one more visibility state called closed and click OK. So once all of the visibility states requested by my client were done, 
I then was ready to add some more geometry to this dynamic block and instead of starting from scratch I copy this door 90 degree door to the side an exact distance in this case 36 inches and then rotated the door mm, minus 45 degrees to have this 45 degree door I then proceeded to trim the arc to have it ready and then once I have it done I could easily move it back to the left like so okay at this point we only needed the closed door again the same procedure I decided to copy it to the side 36 inches rotate it using the reference like so and then move it back to the left okay so we were done creating the geometrics to different angles of this door so we were ready to add the actions to the linear parameters and it would, this would be the stretch action so on this opening parameter and the base point would be over here and the area to be stretched would be this area over here and finally the objects would be all of these ones but the arc so that's why I deselected the arc using the shift on my keyboard and then I proceeded to press enter this action was created the stretch and then I needed to do the same procedure to the other 45 degrees door and then the, the area for this would be this small area and the objects of course would be only the 45 degree door like so again this second stretch action I selected it and changed some of its properties in this case the angle of set to 45 and I needed it to add one more stretch action in this case for the 90 degree door again same procedure in this case the area to be stretched would be here like so and then my objects to be stretched would be this 90 degree door but the arc all right so my stretch actions in this case for the 90 degree door I needed it to change the angle of set to 90 at this point what I needed was one more stretch action for the other linear parameter for the hinge with the same steps in this case the area to be selected would be here like so and then the objects would be these ones over here all right everything is looking pretty good but now we needed one more stretch action because based on my client needs he wanted the center circles to keep centered with the opening stretch so what I did was using a stretch action and using this area over here select only these two center circles like so 
once I had that I then had to select the stretch action for these two specific circles and in order to keep it centered while stretching the opening I needed to change some of its properties in this case from the property palette what I did was change the distance multiplier to 0.5 to keep it centered while stretching this door all right what I did next was add a scale action to the arcs the parameters would be this opening parameter and the objects would be these two arcs once I did that I changed the action from dependent to independent So I did a lot so I needed to test this dynamic block to see what we did so far. The opening stretch was looking pretty good. The visibility of 90 degree door. What's also working for the opening, the hinge, stre the hinge stretch was working as well as the close visibility. The circle on the center was working nicely but the visibility icon was somehow attached to the opening stretch so I needed to fix that so what I did was selecting this opening stretch and turning all of my geometry on so what I did was right click on the stretch action for the 90 degree door and then modify a selection set I'll use the same area but making sure that the removed option was selected I deselect the visibility icon like so and then once I did press enter this should be ready to go then I proceeded to add a flip parameter as the client requested it so the base point for this flip parameter had to be placed on a location that is useful for the client so what I ended up so where I ended up placing this visibility first visibility parameter was on the hinge side like so now this parameter needed an action in this case would be the flip action but before adding the action I made sure that the this visibility parameter show for all states so after this it was ready to add the flip action using the same parameter I then selected all of my objects like so I then decided to to do a quick test to see how things were working just to see if there is any errors or problems with this dynamic door and indeed 
when the when the flip parameter was used the base point was not placed in the correct location for this door so we needed to fix this so the way I fixed this was adding a new parameter in this case in this case was the move action so I selected the hinge parameter like so and then for my base point would be over here and the objects would be the flip icons the flip parameter once I did that that should solve the problem but what I needed was to change it to 0.5 on the distance multiplier I was ready then to place my second flip parameter and the location would be here in the center of my block so then using the OSNAP settings I place it exactly on the middle of my door opening like so the second flip parameter needed an action so I did add the flip action to it by, sel by selecting the parameter and then selecting all of the objects like so this new flip state this new flip parameter needed another action in this case would be the moved so again the same steps that we used in this case would be the opening parameter this would be the base point and my object would be my flip parameter number two and all i needed to do was again change the distance multiplier for this move action 2.5 once i did that i did a, i did save this block because this was almost done so i needed to quickly test it again to see if there were uh, issues with the block or not I realized that the stretch action icon wasn't moving wasn't moving in the right way so I opened the block again to fix this issue so I selected the, this stretch action and then modify the selection set using the same area and then making sure the removed option was checked I then deselected the opening parameter as well as this stretch icon. Once I did that, that problem should be solved. I then saved the block again and closed it to try it again and see that it was working nicely this time but I kept trying and checking that there wasn't anything wrong with the block again everything were looking good the stretch actions however the after I used the flip parameter and used the stretching for the opening the block will look like this so how I did fix it was opening the block editor again and 
I knew this was a issue with the object selected so I again right click on my flip action and pick new selection set and in this case to avoid any problem I what I did was type all to select all of the objects even the stretch and then press enter once I did that and did a quick test for the stretch and the flip parameter it was working nicely however I found another error with the dynamic door which was the base point wasn't flipping to the right location so how I did fix this door was again closing the test block and adding or introducing a new parameter in this case would be the base point so the base point where I placed it was here on the beginning of the hinge like so and I needed to include this base point on my flip action so what I did is right click on it and modify selection set making sure that the add option was picked I I picked the base point like so so once I did another quick test then for the flip action the base point was also flipping nicely like so the stretching action was working correctly this time the only problem I saw at that time was when using the flip for the hinge the base point of the block will disappear because it will be placed behind the stretch icon so I needed to fix this and how I did it was simply select my flip action and modify the selection set making sure add was selected I will needed to add, to add the base point parameter so once I did that and again tried the flip action for the hinge I finally could the base point could also finally be flipped now another error that I just saw which was minor was that using the stretch action for the hinge the second flip parameter didn't keep center with the door so this was an easy fix simply by selecting the move action and right click on it and pick in this case I did a new selection set because it was simpler for me to again select the flip parameter with the icon and also the other flip state one with its icon once I did that this door was almost ready but still I did a quick test just to make sure that everything was working nicely this time again the flip icon was keeping centered this time So trying different stretch actions, flip actions for the opening of the door, for the hinge, the flip action, trying to see or look for errors. I keep using the flip, I keep using the flip actions even the visibility states
and everything was looking pretty good on the closed visibility state was also fine now I just saw an so I saw another error which was that the flip for the opening was missing on the 90 degree door and on the closed door but not on the 45 degree door so again this was a quick fix all I needed to do was um select my busy select my flip action and change it using right click to show all actions and also for the flip parameter by selecting it and right click on it and change the object visibility to show for all states once I did that and then run a quick test after changing to 90 degrees the flip parameter was also visible as well as the stretching actions were working properly like so for the opening for the hinge either for the 90 degree door for the closed door all of the actions were working properly but I kept using and using all of the parameters and actions to look for errors in any visibility state of this dynamic door block once I realized that all of my actions and parameters and visibility states were working correctly this door was ready so I did save my blog and close the blog editor hey I'm Irving from the lazy architecto here is another dynamic blog for you and subscribe for more AutoCAD blogs